Executive Magazine, independent thinking for the discerning mind. We are confident that the banks are uh, go, uh, healthy in Lebanon because uh, we have run stress tests and they have constituted general provisions for the worst case uh, scenarios. And what we have recommended to the banks is to constitute the proper provisions ahead uh, of time. That's why uh, one of the reasons you don't have that growth in profits, not you don't have profits, but that growth in profits is due to these uh, general uh, provisions. Uh, the uh, decision to work in Syria or not is a commercial decisions that the banks themselves have to take. But uh, what we do require is that they have the proper capital allocated and the proper provisions uh, taken. Banks uh, operating in Syria or Lebanese banks here operating with Syrians have uh, decreased their operations by 40% during the past 15 months. Being a shareholder in a bank, especially that this uh, participation occurred before these personalities were uh, listed, whether on OFAC or other uh, sanction lists, is something you can not do anything about it because uh, you have to rely on the existing laws uh, that govern uh, the activity, economic activity and they differ from one country to the other. Uh, the recommendation is that they not be elected as board uh, members, or if they are board members, to ask them to leave the board. I believe that uh, none of the banks uh, uh, operating in Syria has on its board uh, anyone listed on the OFAC list or uh, on the sanction list. As for sure shareholding, it is a legal issue and it's uh, the will of the owner of, a, of these shares whether they want to uh, sell it or not.